my mother and father, and they were both drug addicts, alcoholics. When I was 11, I became a ward of the state. Ended up going through a lot of halfway houses, foster homes, treatment centers. When I was 20, I got pregnant. I ended up giving birth to my son, incarcerated. Didn't see my son until he was one and a half. I got out of prison, moved in with my mom, couldn't stay there, stayed with my dad, decided to move to Missouri. I ended up getting married. And then in the middle of it, we both started using drugs. I ended up going to prison for 18 months. I got out. I was so much in my addiction that it was infecting Frankie. He didn't feel safe at home. He was honest with the school and told them that I um, sold drugs. I got arrested. The day before they took Frankie, I said, I'm going to have to fight so hard to get you back. That was like the last time I got to see his pure little eyes just piercing back at me, not knowing what his future was going to be like. While incarcerated, I stayed to what I needed to learn, what I needed to do, wrote my son every week. I read um, Hebrews 11 often. The verse is kind of like having faith in something that you cannot see, but you have faith that God is going to make it a reality. And I held on to that verse like no other. Because I didn't have my son, I couldn't see that if I'd have him in my future because of what I did, but I had faith that somehow, some way, I was gonna get my son back. I heard about Catholic Charities. They helped me with necessities, food, clothing, transportation, buying the places I needed to go to, a job opportunity. I went and took classes, just following an everyday program, focusing on my education. It was like a total flip. Having a consistent caseworker and the same person that knew my situation that knew my goals was key to it because then I knew that I can actually tell this person how I really feel and tell them how do I get over this hurdle I feel like I'm having. The hardest part was to go to court all the time, wanting the instant gratification, wanting that I need him now, I'm ready for him. Um, it's funny how uh, God works because I was ready for him, but I wasn't fully ready for him. I just had to keep being persistent, keep working. And, you know, Catholic Charities, they helped me see the light at the end of the tunnel. There is a light. Now I just want to be the best mother I know how to be. Before I couldn't wake him up, to get him to school on time because I was on drugs. But now I get up every morning, get him ready for school. I do the mom stuff. I can be like, well, this assignment is um, past due, yo. You need to work on this grade. Me just having an argument with him because he doesn't agree with what I'm telling him is like the best thing ever. It's the best. I am rebuilding my life each and every day. Having wonderful support, being honest with yourself and other people will guide you in the right path. I want Frankie to remember me as a non-quitter, as a forgiving person, a caring person. To remember that I always tried. Um, I want him to remember that being humble will guide you in the right path. God is key, you put him first, and everything else will fall into place. I'm so grateful, I'm so thankful. Frankie is uh, what made my life a better life. To give him all that I can give him, he is what makes me who I am.